Okay, I just wanted to make this video to show you what the speed engineering with their stainless long tube exhaust and their stainless uh, true dual setup, how it all fit and how it uh, buttoned up, kind of give any uh, insight to how uh, some of the stuff goes. There is a little bit of uh, clearance issues right there on the stock K member. It's pretty, pretty tight. I'm not sure if it's going to hit yet, so I don't know if it's going to need a little bit of uh, trim in there on the K member or something. But this is on polyurethane mounts, polyurethane transmission mount. Um, I imagine with an aftermarket K member, you'd probably get a little better fitment. Uh, but overall, I think it fits nicely. Um, so with the exhaust kit I'll let you uh, see it real quick and then I'll kind of give some pointers and how to run everything um, it runs and over the exhaust or the uh, rear end uh, really nicely providing that you know this one doesn't have the pan hard location relocation bar uh, it probably is recommended especially if you want to put your top bar back on your top brace um, this one's not going to run it so but I want to show you real quick some of the little stuff here and there that uh, if you had any questions on you'd see it here in this video so the clamps obviously the system's not welded it's all clamped on one of the tricks to the clamp on uh, this whole setup is you need to tighten it down with a breaker bar don't just use a regular ratchet uh, it needs to be cranked down hard um, that's how I've had this thing uh, to not move around and shimmy around so it's worked pretty well like that anyways uh, I just want to show you kind of like the orientation how I set it up and it seemed to work so your hangers that are provided you'll see that you'll have to take off from the frame and of course left and right uh, your hanger there another hanger location there same thing over here so you have to take those two bolts off of the frame uh, also as well as over here so they all mount in the stock location where your stock exhaust would have done so it's really nice on that uh, these two bolts here that's how I overlaid them uh, also the other part where you might be confused if some of them are wondering how to put it together this section here so that's how I did it. Take off the seat belt, run the bolt, and then I ran the spacer, ran the bushing, and this clamp here, I ran it in that orientation. Seemed to have worked really well. And it does matter how far in and out this will fit. So you gotta clamp this down in the right position, in the right spot. And you just kinda have to play with it a little bit and, and see where the right uh, um, place is gonna be and the best spot for it for the exhaust to hang is so everything you know all the clamps and all uh, also another area that I kind of modified was that right there so I trimmed that yeah it had it had clearance but it was a little too close for comfort for me so I went ahead and trimmed it um, all this here looks really well this is on a stock height Trans Am as well and of course I don't have the rear wheels supported yet with weight on the back so they're hanging down so but even with the, with it on the floor there's no problem um, here's how this looks um, a lot of clearance you know it all matters in how you where you clamp it down um, another thing I found out is make sure you do tighten down your rear O2 sensor plug bungs if you're not going to use them because they will rattle off from shipping uh, they're not tight so make sure they're tight other than that, uh, that's what it looks like. This is a three inch system. I think overall, it's a nice system. I uh, will give you a video clip of it running here in a little bit. Let me lower it down. But here's one more look at it from the back and from the front. So, the tips look awesome. So, this is on the LS1 car as well. It does work on LT1 cars as well but uh, you do have to modify some and I'll probably show you uh, on Green Things car that mine's an LT1 Trans Am I'll show you how I did it I did mine has a 
a lot of aftermarket parts underneath suspension wise and, and chassis wise so I'll uh, show you how I did that one I put v-band clamps on it but this is how this exhaust looks out of the box and straight up without uh, modifying or welding anything so hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, please like and subscribe my channel if you did like this and I have a lot of stuff a lot of projects that I'm about to uh, show you um, and upload you know I'm not a I'm not constantly uploading so I just kind of do when I when I can here and there but anyways hope you guys get a perspective of how it all is and how it fits there you go have a good one guys